station desk are wondering, Josie's on the phone behind me right now, talking to, uh, talking to someone right now. Let me get Ben here, guys. I need to get some dinner, and I need some tea in the worst way. And uh, so I'm going to accomplish both of those goals here momentarily. How you guys doing today? What's, what's everyone up to in the world? Of, what's up, Kel? You done with uh? You done with the with the lows at gymnastics? Where are we going? You know, brother, I'm not even sure. Um, up, um, you'll see this is my usual drive up to um, up to uh. Let me take a look at myself here. Oh wow, this is, this is nice and cool. You can see me. I got Joe. So so love Joe. Hey. That's Joe back there. I got Joe and Low. Um, so, uh, the, the low was up and down, you know, we're actually slave to her. It sounds really silly, but we're complete slave to her. Um, feeding her, changing her. We changed about five diapers in like in 10 minutes. Um, I went, I went to change her before we fed her. And then, um, during that process, the low peed. So then, um, I put another diaper on her, started feeding her. She, uh, so King Stan, what's up, brother? Um, she blew it out. Like a lot, I mean, she blew it out, man. Like she blew it like sideways. As she blew it sideways, um, put a, put a new dapper on. Then uh, she kept on like letting, letting loose. We we're like, oh my god, man, this is crazy looking. And then she was like, she looked like the green machine, man. It looked like some green uh, hyper energy drink, you know, like Tony Stark drink. This stuff was crazy looking. Um, ah, she don't know. She is. It's all natural. She loves it. Um, and then um, just changed her again and fed her some more. We call it a, we call it a, what would you call it, Joe? Uh, what did I call it? TT milk. Oh, the TT milk. She, I call it TT milk, but she calls it DD. DD? DD. Alright, well, right, I'm saying TT milk because uh, that's, what, that's what I call it. No, you say TT milk, it's DD milk. You know, man, I, I don't got all day to say that she rolls her T's when that Spanish sort of stuff. With a low license boy. And um, so right now we're just doing some quick quick errand running. You see, I'm showing sure my old city town here. It ain't like nothing happening. There's kids out there, you know. Look walking around looking at little big headed kids. Um, but um, we're heading up to a uh, legacy place stand. And uh, might check out Whole Foods, you know, or Whole Check. Might do Yard House. Catch myself a Golden Drag, some dark Belgium ale. Um, might just grab a burger. You never know like that, man. But um, we waited a little bit too long because the low uh, needed some TLC and had to match mine with my, with my babe here for men. You know, actually, my allergies or something's been popping off, so uh, who knows? Hey, Stan, um, question for you, brother. I heard that um, I heard that you uh, that you you you, tr you trying to you trying to you know embarrass me, man. I mean, you're buying a whole lot of properties and stuff. I mean, I'm the real estate guy. Uh, people, people, people. That's what they say. What's up, Sean? How's it going, brother? I know Sean. You know Sean's actually another real estate maverick. Sean, where's your, where's your joint at, man? Are you in Worcester too, or where do you have your, have your spot? Yeah, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy another spot in Worcester. You know, maybe put 20 percent down um, for a spot, or I could probably um, for the same equivalent down payment. Um, I can probably do three. In uh, San Antonio, three like single family spots in San Antonio. Um, I don't have to worry about the age factor. Buying a house is like 100 plus years old, um, and there's no water bill, there's no gas, no electric to pay. The tenant pays everything in Texas, so we should probably just be like electric and you know, water, you know, lights and water. And um, it's a landlord state. And it's a yeah, exactly right. Yeah, you got one in Worcester and Warham, man, dude. You got you got two joints, man. I never heard of Wareham, but hey, what, what does it matter though? Um, so you uh, you digging that out? That's cool, brother. That's cool. That's real cool. I'm I'm glad. Are they uh, multis like threes or fours? Like in terms of units, three units each or four units each? Texas, baby. That's what. Hey, you know what? That's what it's about, Sean. There you go. Show love, man. Texas, uh, just one. Dang, sons. Oh, there you go. Okay, all right. I'm about to say, man. That, that's kind of light. You got some arthritis in your in your your your, your point of there. You go break yourself off, break yourself off, break me off. 
Yeah, so over here is where I'm headed to. It's like mad close to the house, dude. It's like, it's like, it's, it's like perfect drunk driving distance and everything. So you can be like hammered up and like, all right, I can make it home. And you can get, you got, there's like 10 ways to make it back home up here. Um, you got, okay, three Worcester, two, okay, awesome, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, I was actually, it's, for me at least, it's, it looks like it's kind of tight doing the two families unless you're doing it for, uh, Running out each room, not each uh, unit. Um, I found it was hard to maintain probably good cash flow for my numbers. Uh, Texas is a good market. Stan playing games though. Well, you know, I mean, Stan, Stan, Stan is big time though. You know, it's hard. It's hard to get inside Stan's league like that and everything. I'm trying. What I'm trying to do is try to you know, get you know get him up in Costa Rica and maybe you know you know we can roll like that and. Um, Maybe we can get up in Costa Rica like that, and after we break off a couple of uh, uh, bottles, you know, or whatever, pop bottles, pop bottles. I meant, sorry. Um, we can uh, uh, we can do we can do we can do what we want. But yeah, guys. Hey, I'm proud of you guys for making stuff happen, man. It's at such a young age, to Like I know for me, man, the cash flow is uh, it's lovely. It just, it just gives out gives out a whole lot of options in terms of. Uh, in terms of what to do or what not to do, um, and life like that, you know, you know, you know, one big house, second, and big house, two bedroom and five bedroom. Wow, that five bedroom must be rocking some serious cash flow, man. That's a, you know, even if you throw some sections in there, you know, those or something like that, you know, you can make some big, big, big dollars. You know, actually, you know, there's also money to be made from uh, renting to uh, veterans. Like that, or like you know, like veterans. I know in Worcester. I threw a tenant in. Oh, I'm I'm with I'm with Costa Rica. Went there, Jan. Yeah, man. Costa Rica, for what I hear, is quite nice. I would love to actually uh, consider moving there as a permanent change of uh, station. You know, say, look, I'm gone. I'm in Costa Rica, and you know, the dollar goes so much further. And you got just the beaches every, everywhere. You got the beaches everywhere. And uh, no stutter intended there, and uh, you can so have a blast. But I, uh, for me, my life is all about the low, like that. But honestly, though, um, it may be uh, seriously though, it may be worthwhile to reach out to like a uh, damn. Look, look at all these fools over here at, at Yard House, man. Shit. Arr, see, I got the baby with me in the car, so it kind of screws up my. Oh damn! See that she went, she went pop like that. That boy thought, thought someone was taking shots at me. Let me get his shit back in here. All right, um, yeah, um, I would love to uh, do Costa Rica, and probably there's a way to do it along the lines of doing it with a um, uh, talking to a CPA or someone like that, and say, look, I want to go here. I want to make sure that this entire trip is written off, and that is as, as, as a some sort of uh, travel and entertainment related to my business. Uh, maybe talking to potential investors, etc., and just seeing what kind of works, what doesn't work. So, whoops. So we'll uh. So that's that's a discussion I have there. Um, um, also, two guys. Um, if you guys know some really kick butt CPAs, let me know. My CPA is pretty straight. I did pretty good with the tax return last year. My fast tax return yet. Um, after breaking off my um, what do you call it? My um, um, uh, my uh, uh, de depreciation on the units. Um, with stuff in Texas, it ended up being um. Like uh, basically, the goal is trying to you know, with your paycheck, you want to claim as many exemptions as possible. You may have to pay at the end of the year, but then if you count, if you're using your property, you can um, have it hooked up to where you may not have to pay any taxes at all. So I um, I use this thing called Mile IQ for my traveling, and it automatically counts my miles um, or it deducts the mileage that I that I put in. I just got to let it know was it a business trip or not, and it goes out in an IRS compliant form. It, it works out really really well. Um, so that's something there, and um, you know, like I said, just not playing around, man. Just not playing around with it. In fact, um, I'm going to next. Um, in fact, as I'm in process of working on my whole get your FU money uh, course, I've been kind of sleeping on it a little bit, but with a low popping up like that, I figured I might as well get serious, serious with it like that. Just, just cover, you know, like real, real, uh, real time things that I deal with, like tenants managing the tenants when they don't pay on time. Um, you know, because honestly, tenants will give you some excuses. The systems that, that go in place for that, um, dealing, with, dealing with inherited tenants versus ones that you install yourself, um, and just different programs that allow you to get paid from the government. 
like that, which is like this this Worcester one, this Worcester ink one that I use, man. Um, the money's guaranteed for a year, so when the guy doesn't pay, his his uh, his case manager um, uh, lets him know and and you know sweat some out, so I don't gotta sweat them out. And still, if he doesn't pay, I can um, I'll uh, if he doesn't pay, I end up uh, I'm getting paid because the program is already his 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 thing is is, is uh, pre-funded. So I um so I was able for a two bedroom, I'm able to charge uh uh twelve hundred a month like that just for a two bedroom. So I think and and that was just I I used to uh, I was thinking about maybe nine hundred or a thousand for Worcester. I said eh, screw it, you know I figured nothing to lose and bam. So I'm gonna see how things work out with this and uh, things work out, man. I might be popping another another one in uh, Worcester here in a little bit and you see how far things will go. So, like I said, if you guys are looking to join venture, reach out, man. I got a little bit of dough. Maybe we can make stuff work. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care of yourself. Peace.